Hi, in this tutorial we're going to see how to upload files to a remote server using Ionic Framework uh, for Android and iOS, but in particular this tutorial is going to focus more along the lines of Android, but you don't have to do much different in order to get this working for iOS, it's very similar. Uh, for simplicity purposes I'm sticking with just Android. So. The, what, in this tutorial, we're going to be using NG Cordova, which is the AngularJS extension set for Ionic Framework. And we're going to be using that in combination with the Apache Cordova file transfer plugin. So let's go ahead and download the NG Cordova. Save that to my desktop here. All right. Let's go ahead and go to our terminal. We're going to go ahead and create a fresh Ionic Framework project. Now navigate to your to your project and we're going to add the Android platform. And let's go ahead and add the iOS platform as well, even though we're not going to particularly use it. All right. Uh, while we're at it, let's go to the Apache Cordova file transfer plugin, and we're going to install it into our project. I'm just going to copy and paste it. All right, everything is installed now. So let's go ahead and we're going to extract the NG Cordova. And in particular, we're going to navigate to the distribution folder and we are going to copy the NG Cordova minified file into our Ionic project. And in particular, we're going to go www, JavaScript, and then paste it right there. All right, with that said and done, let's go ahead and open the index.html file. All right, in this file, right above the cordova.js include, we're going to include the ng cordova. All right, with that added, Find your app.js file, we need to add another line into it. We need to alter the Angular module and we need to add NG Cordova to it. We're also going to clean it up a bit. I always like to clean up my app.js just slightly. Alright, we are officially ready to start using uh, this plugin. So something to note, uh, my web application server is going to be a locally hosted server. It's going to be, uh, it's made with uh, Sail.js, which is a, part, is a framework for Node.js. I've already gone ahead and created this uh, web application, and I'm just going to run it locally uh, on our machine here. So... All right. That is officially running. So going back into our code, we are going to start uh, adding a controller. All right, for simplicity purposes, this controller is only going to contain one function and that's going to be an upload function. Alright, so at this point I'm going to follow pretty much exactly the um, in-app, the, the file transfer documentation for upload. It's, it's very consistent to how we want to use it. 
So first we want to go ahead and create an options object. We want to go ahead and specify what the file key is going to be. It's going to be called avatar. The file name, we're going to call it image.png. Chunk to mode, which is set to true by default, we're going to go ahead and set that to false. And the mime type, which is by default set to JPEG, we're going to change that to uh, PNG. So just like that, we set up all of our options that we're going to pass into this uh, Cordova file upload function. So let's go ahead and start by making that function. Alright, you'll see that I, I left a lot of the blank so far. So the first parameter is going to be where our um, remote web server is going to be, what the endpoint is going to be. So in this case, it's going to be the following. Um, it's going to be 192, 168, 56, 1, and then 1337. And then it's going to have an endpoint of file and then upload. The second parameter here is which file we want to upload to the server. Now, you should familiarize yourself with the um, absolute paths for your device file system. So you would probably want to read more on the Apache Cordova file plugin. So that way you can see how to access the, the storage on your device. Uh, for, this, for this tutorial, I'm actually going to get the image that we want to upload from the Android assets directory. So it's, it's not technically inside of the uh, SD storage, it's actually bundled within our application. But again, if you want to do some research on how to get files off of the uh, external or internal SD card, uh, that's all you. You just have to have the correct path. So for us it's going to be Android asset www image and then ionic.png and that's why I said that for this tutorial we're only doing Android uh, because the iOS does not have this Android asset directory but if you if you want to use the methods and properties from Apache Cordova file then it would be more universal alright with that said and done let's go ahead and print something out to the terminal here and in the event of an error This um, this should should be fine for us. So let's go ahead and save it. Now crack open the index.html file. We're going to add some UI to execute this. So go ahead and add the controller that we just made. I'm going to create a button with ng click. It's going to be upload. All right, at this point we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and prove a few things to you first. Uh, this is our, our web uh, application that I made. It's gonna store it in the assets and then the images directory. You can see that's currently empty. So let's go ahead and compile this. We're gonna put this to the test here.
All right. With that built, we're going to install it now. And we're going to monitor the logs as we run it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click Upload from Assets. And it returned a, a success. So in theory, it worked. So let's go ahead and go see if that file is found in our, in our directory. And yes, it, it was uploaded because again, this is our sale project, our web application, assets, images, and then uh, exactly where I told you it was going to show up. So to rehash on what happened here, we created a UI with a simple with a simple button that's going to upload the stock Ionic image from our Android assets. It's going to run this controller and the upload function and the options that we provided are the key, which is what the server expects. It expects a file with the file name avatar. Uh, you can choose whatever you set your server up to expect. Um, we're going to upload a, a portable network graphic. We are uploading it to this endpoint. And we are uploading this particular file. Now, you can always go to the uh, the actual plugin documentation for file transfer. There are other things that you can pass into the options. For example, you can pass parameters or headers uh, to satisfy the needs of your server. Uh, I just used most of them were the defaults. The only ones that weren't default uh, were the ones that I provided in the code because I didn't want them to be default. And this would be useful if you were creating like, if you wanted to create uh, a new app like Instagram where you want your users to upload images or other media files to your remote web server um, in addition to say normal data 